Hello everyone. This is Taria from Hidden Truth Tarot. And this is going to be your daily tarot reading for Monday the 8th of July 2019. This is for the collective. It's for all signs. And I'm using this Animal Spirit Oracle. And we have Otter Spirit. You are never alone. I'm also pulling from the Goddess Oracle, and I will be pulling one from the Fairy Oracle. And I will be doing today's tarot reading with the Witch Tarot. And at the end of your reading, I will be pulling Life Loves You uh, positive thought cards. We have the Arts. And we have faith coming up here. All right. All right, Spirit, what do we need to know today? Monday the 8th. Thank you, Spirit. we need to know today spirit monday the 8th of july 2019 thank you spirit we're ready all right we have the hermit beautiful ace of pentacles eight of pentacles Karma, the moon, Knight of Wands, the Chariot, and the Queen of Swords. All right, let's go ahead. Let's take a look at the major energies here. Now, I feel like with the Otter Spirit coming up here, you are never alone. Spirit wants you to know that your angels, your spirit guides, whatever it is that you believe in, your, your faith, that is with you each and every day. 24 7 seven days a week you're never alone even if you feel like you're alone in this earthly experience in this you know world right here in the spirit realm you have all kinds of stuff going on behind the scenes spirits and your spirit guides and your angels working in you know trying to help you co-create what it is that you truly want in your life and if you've been having a hard time co-creating or bringing about that faith or stability and security, you know, speak your intentions. They're not mind readers. When you speak it out loud and you ask for their help, they take off with it. They've got your back. Now we have the arts. Express yourself through creative activities. This can mean so many different things because there's so many of you watching. But whatever your, your creative side is, whatever you're good at, it could be cooking. Um, some of you, it, it could be music. It could be writing. It's going to be different for everyone. But, you know, express yourself. Let people know who you are. Let the world know who you are and what you're about. This is a good time for you. For some of you, if you're working in a place and you feel like you should be moving up or 
you can do better than at the level that you're at now is the time to take charge of that and show show the people you work for show your bosses what you've got Now we have faith coming up here. Spiritual faith is devoted assurance of the heart. And you know what's interesting is I feel these two just go hand in hand today. The otter here is in a heart. Whatever your belief system is, this is a... You know, I always tell people, pay attention to signs. And I feel like this is a sign for some of you. They want to talk to you. Your angels, your spirit guides, they want to help you. Make sure you're, you speak your intentions out loud. All right, now we have the hermit clarified by the moon. The hermit is the energy of Virgo. This is going within, gaining some type of spiritual enlightenment that's going to help you decide maybe which direction or which way to go, maybe in a situation. You know, this is allowing yourself to have inner peace and patience as well. Time of introspection, meditating. Gaining inner wisdom and knowledge. And I feel like it has to do with this moon energy. This is the energy of Pisces. Now, the moon oftentimes represents maybe things that are hidden. Maybe you're not seeing clearly along your path. Maybe things are hidden from you. And you may be going into hermit mode to you know find out exactly what it is that you might be missing or what might be hidden from you now for others of you i feel like this has to do with dreams signs symbolism synchronicities pay attention to your dreams pay attention to your intuition and don't doubt yourself ace of pentacles clarified by the knight of wands beautiful energy right here I love the ace of pentacles this is a new beginning the seed has been planted now there's a need to nurture this seed so it can have growth and expansion and with the right care this can grow into something that's very long lasting this could be a job this could be um, a career this is reward for effort and prosperity the beginning of it what I really like here is it's clarified by the Knight of Wands this is Aries Leo Sagittarius energy and the Knight of Wands is very passionate this is telling me that you have so much passion and enthusiasm about this new beginning with this energy right here. You have the self-confidence. You have what it takes to, to grow this seed, to nurture it, and to care for it. This is you taking action and moving forward with confidence. This could be you taking a risk maybe in a financial type of situation. I do feel like it's positive. But always remember and you know keep make sure that you have understand that with this energy right here don't get too impatient. Because if you get too impatient and you just rush off because you're so excited and you have this enthusiasm and excitement, you may miss something. And you want to make sure that whatever you're taking action on, especially if it has to do with your finances, that you are you have everything covered. All right, and you're not missing anything. We have the eight of pentacles. 
clarified by the chariot. Eight of Pentacles. I love this energy. This is telling me that you're very diligent, disciplined. You have a lot of knowledge on what it is that you do on a day-to-day -day basis, especially when it comes to your work. This is mastering a skill and being very good at it. You're at the point of mastery. And this is, again, this is something that's financial opportunity or gain that's long-lasting for you. Now we have the chariot. This is the energy of cancer. This is all about your happiness. This could be speed picking up, momentum, with, with this Eight of Pentacles. Maybe starting a new project with your skill. Maybe starting a business. Maybe, uh, maybe it's a job change. But you're doing it successfully. This is all about triumphant success right here. Victory. Most importantly about this card and about this energy is, is that this tells me you know exactly where you are going. So you gained a lot of insight and spiritual enlightenment with going into hermit mode here. Maybe things that were unclear or hidden from you. That, that blindfold is taken off. Now we have karma. Clarified by the Queen of Swords. I like this pair. Karma is all about second uh, chances, okay? This is about ending a karmic cycle. Maybe a challenging one. One with obstacles. And now you're moving into a new beginning here. And we have this new beginning karma's on your side and I feel like you've learned a lot out of this this chapter, this cycle that you're coming out of with this Queen of Swords clarifying karma Queen of Swords is Gemini, Libra and Aquarius energy we all know with this Queen this is the no nonsense type of energy right here Speaking your truth, very direct, what's right, what's just. You know, being very realistic, being very straightforward. I feel like whatever karma, whatever chapter, whatever cycle you're coming out of, you've walked away with gaining this knowledge here of this Queen of Swords. You have clarity. You have truth. You may have been through some very, very challenging situations and, and, and times in your past. But Spirit wants you to know that karma is here. There's a karmic debt that's been paid. And now karma is moving in your favor. And you've walked away with the energy of this Queen of Swords of being very, very realistic. Knowing what you want. Ready. Because she's holding that sword right there. She's not holding it because it looks pretty. She's holding it because she can see BS, you know, a mile away coming at her. So... I feel like whatever you come out of, you've gained this knowledge and this experience of maybe people, situations, circumstances that were, you know, not in your best interest. But now you can see it because you've been through it. And you're ready. You're ready to take action. You're ready to cut out any anybody or any situation that's not serving your best interest. And... It, this is positive, very positive. Always remember, you're never alone. And look at that otter in the heart there. I just love that. I just love it. There's a lot of major arcana here too. We have one, two, three, four major arcana. 
very powerful reading here, very significant. A lot of major energies, but it's very down-to-earth practical energies. Use your creative side. Whatever your creative side is, whatever your creative vision is, your belief system, you know what you want. You know what your faith is. Whatever you believe in, everybody has a different spiritual path. Please don't forget, you're never alone, whatever that spiritual path is. Speak your intentions out loud. Let it be heard so you can get help. Time of, you know, hermit mode, gaining that spiritual enlightenment. It's kind of like lifting the veil over maybe what was hidden before. Now you know how to move forward, I feel. This new beginning, this is reward for effort. A new beginning in prosperity, maybe in finances. You're taking action. Make sure you don't get ahead of yourself and miss something. You're highly skilled at whatever you're starting this new beginning in. You, you're at the point of mastery. Things are picking up, moving forward very quickly here with the chariot. And you're doing it successfully. And you know exactly where it is that you're going. A karmic debt is paid. A new chapter, a new cycle in your life, along your path, with your, your destiny. And it's all moving in your favor. And you've walked away from recent past where there were hurts or... I feel like what you've, the knowledge and the wisdom you've gained from this is the energy of the Queen of Swords. She's been through a lot, whether you're male or female. A lot. Okay? But this energy right here, there's nothing that you cannot handle or that you cannot move forward with. And you've earned that right. Karma's here for you. I feel like your faith and belief in the universe and spirit is being recognized. All the hard work, all the obstacles and challenges that you've been through, that you've had to deal with, there's a reward coming for you. Love speaks to me all through the day. When you don't know what to do, focus on love. Love is an infinite intelligence that will always help you if you let it. Life loves me. Life loves us all. Look at yourself in a mirror. Breathe in and say, Life loves me. As you breathe out, smile, repeat 10 times. All right. Very positive. All right. I want to thank each and every one of you from the bottom of my heart that keep coming back every day. And those of you that are new, um, I, I just, I love you guys so much. I appreciate you. I Please leave me a comment. I read every single one of them. And I send you all my love, wishes, and blessings. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye, everyone.